just got to Sunshine Seasons in Epcot. There are three new menu options that we're gonna be trying. There's a roast beef sandwich, um, a spicy fish taco, and then a Mediterranean veggie sandwich that are located at this station right here. There's currently no signage for it, but here are the three options. So there's the fish taco, um, the veggie sandwich back there, and then the roast beef is right here. I'm gonna go check out, she told me they come with either pasta or chips also. So I got a pasta here and then you can pick from your chips up at the register. All right, we're seated. We have everything laid out. So these are your three entrees and then it comes with, again, chips or pasta salad. I couldn't wait, so I dug into my chips. Um, this is the, um, the spicy fish taco. So this one comes with um, tilapia is the fish that they are currently offering, uh, fire roasted corn, there is radishes on it, uh, creamy jalapeno sauce, um, salsa if I haven't already said it, on a flour tortilla. I just took a bite of the fish taco. Um, I've been, it's been sitting here for just a moment and you can see the tortilla has held up pretty well to the insides. I am sad to say it's very slightly fishy. You just kind of get it on the back end. Um, there is a nice little hit of kick in there. The radishes add a little bit of crunch. It is a little spicy. You get the salsa and the jalapeno sauce. And there is a decent amount of fish in here. Um, I think if the fish, like the fishy kind of aftertaste was taken out, this would be great because it's not overly spicy. Um, it, se it tastes seasoned well, to be honest. I think what would be also great here is if they added some sort of like more of a crunch, like even like a coleslaw, or I think they do cabbage on types of like fish taco like this would be great. But this really, it's really not bad. I actually liked it, except for a little bit of the, it's a little too fishy for my taste. All right, so this is the veggie sandwich. This one is on a ciabatta roll. It has arugula. There is also hummus inside. Um, seasonal veggies, <laughs> like tomatoes, onions. I think there's peppers in there as well. Um, hummus is the spread on this guy. And this one is $9.99. Taking a few bites of the veggie sandwich. This is the Mediterranean veggie sandwich. It's on ciabatta roll again seasonal vegetables and hummus inside I mean to be honest again it's it feels like more of a healthier option I, I enjoy like I'm really happy that they're giving you healthier options instead of just like french fries and all that and I know sunshine is pretty good about that anyway but this just felt like there should there should have been more to it you know like I felt like there should have been more vegetables or there should have been some more meat it tastes mostly like bread and then like you're getting a little bit of the vegetables on the end um that being said it's not bad you know if you are like a vegetarian um since this is a veg like a, a a veggie option um this might be good for you um personally it, i think it was okay i didn't think there was anything special about it but um i mean it's basically just vegetables and bread with a little bit of hummus. Again, they put some on the top and the bottom. Um, but yeah, this, this isn't my favorite, but I'm glad that they're offering other options for vegetarians. Pasta salad is not a new addition. This has been here for a while. It's um, obviously pasta, and then there's some seasonal veggies in there as well. It just tastes like pasta with, you know, uh, olive oil um, and vegetables. That's pretty much it. It's salted, nothing special or great, but it's a filling option. Here's the roast beef. Obviously this one does come with roast beef. Um, there is um, a spread in there. I think it's a mayo spread. She wasn't exactly sure when I asked and there's no display board right now. Um, roast beef, there's red onion, cheddar, and arugula on this one also. And this is a pretty decent size. Um, this one is $10.99. I just took a few bites of the roast beef sandwich. 
this one was really good. I enjoyed this one. Um, I would say the mayo that they told me was like a mayo. It really tastes more like an aioli, like kind of like an herb aioli. It's up on the top part of the bun. Um, the bun obviously is really thick, but it's not stale. I don't think it took away from the rest of the sandwich because there is a decent amount of roast beef in there. The arugula was really nice and fresh, add a little bit of a pepperiness to it. I wish maybe there was a little bit more cheese on here. Um, but to be honest, this is not a bad sandwich. And then if you get a side with it, it's a healthier option. I mean, as you can see, there's a pretty decent amount of aioli. They put it on the top and the bottom of the bun. Um, I think this is a solid choice. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not very heavy. It's, it's a roast beef sandwich. I mean, a roast beef sandwich with kind of like an herb aioli on it. This was good. I'd probably, I would probably get this again. All right, so we just tried all of these three new options that are at Sunshine. Um, I think overall my favorite was probably the roast beef. It felt like it had the best portion size um, and accommodations for what you get. Probably followed by the fish tacos. These would have been really good had it not been maybe such a fishy aftertaste to it. Um, and if they had added a little bit more, like I said, maybe coleslaw or a crunch on top. Um, followed by the um, the veggie sandwich. But all in all, to be honest, these are really not bad options. And, you know, if I had to, I'd probably get any of them again. But um, I, out of the three, I'd probably pick the roast beef. Um, just because I feel like it had all around best flavor. Um, there was a decent um, size, like a decent offering of each of the like accoutrements on it. So yeah, I'd probably get this one again. And then if they ever fix the fishy stuff, I would get that one because it's really not bad either. And all of these are um, currently new additions at Sunshine. Excuse me.